Hello everyone. In this video we are going to go through a simple way to calculate the upper layer temperature in a compartment that contains a fire. So in this situation we have a standard compartment and that compartment is uh, 3.66 meters long, 2.44 meters wide, and 2.44 meters tall with a door 0 0.77 meters wide and 2.05 meters tall we have a fire with a heat release rate of 400 kilowatts. So that's Q dot equals 400 kilowatts. And we're going to take the effective heat transfer coefficient to be 0 0.025 kilowatts per meter squared. So in this, we can use equation, equation 12 from page 3-209 from the fourth edition of the SFP handbook, which is nominally this equation, and it goes with this Tg is equal to the ambient gas temperature plus the change in gas temperature. So our upper layer gas temperature temperature is this Tg and our change in gas temperature can be found using this equation where Q dot is the heat flux the heat release rate from the fire A naught is your door area H naught is your door height HK is the effective heat transfer coefficient and AT is your is your total internal surface area of the compartment. Alright, so A naught is 0 0.77 times 2.05 which equals 1.57 meters squared. AT is going to equal 2 times 2.44 squared plus 2 times 3.66 times 2.44 plus 2 times 3.66 times 2.44 minus 1.57 for the area of the door. And so AT is going to equal 46.05 meters squared. So we can take the information that we're given and plug that into the equation we got from the SFP handbook. So TG is going to equal our ambient temperature, which we're going to assume is, is 298 Kelvin. Forgot to mention that plus 6.85 that's an empirical constant so it's important to use the right units for these these terms so Q is in terms of kilowatts so we have 400 squared over 1.57 times the square root of 2.05 times our effective heat transfer coefficient times 46.05 and so that gives us an upper layer gas temperature equal to 588.9 Kelvin now it's important to take a look at these answers and see if you think they're reasonable. So if we if we compare that to a piece of knowledge we might know where we say okay flashover occurs at around uh, 600 Celsius or you know nearly 900 Kelvin and 400 kilowatts a 400 kilowatt fire isn't a small fire but it's not a huge fire so we might think this fire isn't quite enough to flash over a room but it's enough to get a significant portion of the way there, so this, this answer seems reasonable. 
And it's important to check to make sure your answers are reasonable whenever you finish a problem like this. I hope you found this useful and you have a good day.